Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating some little kangaroo and koala agenda cards using new April 2021 release products from Mama Elephant. So we are going to be using the comic cover wonky for both cards and then we are going to be using the two new little agenda sets, the koala and kangaroo with this. So we are going to start by building our backgrounds. I've die cut the comic cover wonky from some Nina heavyweight cardstock and I am just flipping it over and temporarily adhering the cutouts to the back of my frame. Now you could totally ink up some cardstock before die cutting it if you want to. I generally like to do it this way simply so I know where um, the ink is going to go exactly, meaning I want to blend the two ink colors together. I am using my new little non-skid paw print from Simon Says Stamp. You actually don't even have to hold on to your ink when you're reloading your brush, which is fantastic. There's tons of uses for this awesome new little uh, paw print. So definitely check out the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel because Sherry does a fantastic overview of just a few of the great things you can do with this. But I am going to put my ink pads on this and they actually don't move um, when I reload the brush. It's kind of habit to grab that. So I'm gonna try to show just how when I reload my brush, how it actually uh, doesn't move. I don't know if I do it when I'm using the brand new salvaged patina distress ink from Tim Holtz, but with the mini inkers, the mini uh, distress inks that I'm gonna use to blend, um, I think I, remember to not hold on to it then. Like I said, it's such a habit that I'm so used to holding on to my ink pad while I reload it. It's kind of a novelty not to have to do that. Now we're going to take shaded lilac and we are going to ink that or blend that into the salvaged patina. I was just trying some different ink blends. Uh, salvaged patina is so gorgeous, you guys. It is beautiful. Um, it is the distress ink color that I have been wanting, I guess, that I never knew I needed, maybe. It is so, so good. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I am, I know I mentioned it in another video um, that I recorded this week, but I am doing a comparison of distress inks uh, video with these colors or post soon. I'm working on those actually um, the, this coming weekend. So I will be editing and doing all of that good stuff next week and hope to have it up then. There I'm not holding on to it. Look, the base did not move anywhere. So good. I love the salvage patina and shaded lilac. I'm going to actually go back with salvage patina and add a little bit more color in want that color to pull just a little bit further up. Now, while I have my Distress inks out, while I have my wonky die cover out, I am gonna go ahead and do both of my backgrounds. I'm also gonna take some Salvage Patina Distress Paint and some Picket Fence Distress Paint, and we are going to splatter this all over the panel with some little mini paint brushes, or small paint brushes, not mini paint brushes, just small tipped paint brushes. If the ink won't easily, or the paint rather, won't easily splatter, I usually put just a tiny, tiny bit of water. I usually just use the Distress Sprayer and very carefully squeeze a tiny bit of water into it making it a little bit more um, easily flicked all over the surface. And then I'm just gonna flick this all over. That is the salvaged patina. And then we're gonna do some white splatter as well with picket fence. Same thing, one tiny little squirt of water. I'm gonna use another paintbrush for this. I don't wanna mix the two colors and then splatter that all over the surface. Because I've used some repositionable tape on the back of my panel, I can then pick this up and set it over to the side to allow it to completely air dry. I wanted to do this step first because I am going to be doing some stamping and no line coloring of the little koala agenda as well as the little kangaroo agenda. And I want 
the backgrounds to completely dry while I'm doing that. Coloring is fairly time consuming. If you have anything that requires some dry time, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and do that first so it can dry or air dry while you work on the rest of the steps. We are again using salvage patina. You're gonna be seeing a lot of the salvage patina, I have a feeling, uh, in upcoming projects. I just absolutely love it. But this time we're gonna blend into it a little squeezed lemonade. I thought it would be fun to try a couple of different color combinations just to uh, see what all looks good together. I have to say I really love both of these blends. They're very uh, pastel and happy and springy. So definitely love these two. We're gonna load up our squeezed lemonade now and blend in the second half of our comic cover wonky. Now these comic covers are great. You can use them simply as a frame where you build a background or a scene back behind the whole thing and it just kind of has uh, the grids in it or you can do where you're adding images to each cutout, which is what I'm doing today, and kind of have it be a more of a comic book, you know, the little slide type of look to it. There's really so many different things you can do here. I'm again splattering on some salvaged patina and picket fence distress paints. I actually left those out because um, I did this really rather quickly, and that way I only have to clean up everything once. I will then move this over to the side to dry with the other background, completely clean up my work surface so that I can grab my Misty and my stamps for some stamping and coloring. The white will tend to kind of fade a little bit. I try not to add too terrible much water to the white. I do want to mention that. Um, Otherwise, it gets a lot translucent. I have stamped the Mama Elephant Little Koala Agenda on some Bristol Smooth cardstock. The Koala and Kangaroo Agenda stamp sets are the two newest in the Mama Elephant Little Agenda line. There is a lot of repetition of coloring in these um, images simply because there are lots of images for each card. I am not going to color all of them on camera. I did color quite a few. I tried to leave in um, if I colored anything different. So some of them are on branches with leaves. There's um, a little guy holding a heart. That's gonna be for both the koala and the kangaroo. Um, let's see, oh, balloons, little things like that. If there's anything different, I did try to leave that in the video. Otherwise, I did some of it off camera to save time because it's simply the repetition of these colors. I showed the colors when I first started coloring. They will also be listed over on my blog post for easy reference. I am not using any water today. You could get very similar looks with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. My Tombow markers were out and that's why I ended up using those. Uh, either one is great. You can see that they work fantastic with or without water. I just love that. And it, I did choose the Bristol Smooth cardstock as I really wanted that crisp, bright white card base back behind, and I wanted a smooth surface to color on. Uh, especially for something with such little detail, these are small images. Um, so that's kind of my thought process behind my paper choice. Sometimes when I have bigger images and I'm using the Tombows, I will use a watercolor card stock, but when I'm doing something teeny tiny and detailed like this, I generally don't. We're gonna to continue to color all of these guys. And then we are gonna take the coordinating dies and die cut them. The dies are, can be a little tricky. Um, if you have some of the little agenda sets, you probably already know this. I will generally just kind of um, flip them over and get a good look for what looks like it might line up. You just kind of have to play with them a little bit to figure it out. I'm also making sure to go back in with a black fine tip marker and adding detail for the nose, mouth, and eyes. 
I'm using the Tombow Mono, I think it's Tombow Mono, Tombow Black Pins. I think I'm using either the 0.3 or 0.1 fine tip or maybe a combination of the boat of both of those to color in the face. I will say I highly recommend letting it sit for a minute. So you'll notice I will color in a couple of the images and then I'll go back to previously colored images and color or re-add that face detail in. I have found that sometimes when the cardstock is too wet, the black pen will bleed a little bit and that really ruins the whole look. Now I did stamp a koala with, and I kind of didn't realize he had a birthday hat and this is not a birthday card. So I am not gonna color him for this card. I'll just save him for some other time. I will grab um, a couple of other koala images. I think I'm gonna grab um, another guy with a heart and then a couple of other just basic koala images to finish off the card. You'll see that as I assemble my card here. I did put adhesive all over an A2 sized card base. I die cut the wonky comic cover two more times and I placed one of those frames directly on the card base. I'm replacing or inlaying all of the painted and splattered pieces. Now this would look pretty just as is if you don't want to use the inked up frame or you could make two cards, um, one with the inside pieces and then one with the uh, distress inked frame. That's an idea as well. But then I'm, while it's just this single layer, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my koala images. And I'm also gonna pre-plan my sentiments. This also shows me where I'm missing some images. There are some holes, some places that I feel like just need a few more. You'll also notice that some of the images are hanging past the frame and that is on purpose. When I replace the next two layers of the frame, it'll build that up a little bit. And I did this on purpose. I want it to be tone on tone. We are using the frame and the inside pieces from the comic cover wonky, but I want the frame to be a little bit higher for that depth and dimension. So we'll put all of our images down first, except for the koala that looks like he's gonna be hugging um, one of the die cut bars of this, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and put our adhesive then all the way around the edges of our frame. And then I like to use something sharp. I'm using the tool in one to halfway peel up the double-sided adhesive and fold it over on itself. This is my favorite little tip for adhering pieces one on top of another like this. Then you put it in place and gently pull those out and it really allows you to have some wiggle room when placing your images in place like this to get it lined up perfectly. Then I put some foam adhesive behind the one koala and adhered him to my card. These are some sentiments from the Comic Sayings stamp set. This is from a previous release. In fact, I think it's from the March release. It's from some release this year. I stamped those with black ink on white cardstock and I'm using the Let's Chat Thought Bubble dies to die cut all of these greetings. And I'm gonna lay them out on my card, kind of get an idea where I want them all to go. We're using Oh Hello There, Big Hugs, I Made This Card Just For You. I really like how you can kind of mix and match them to work together. I'm gonna put some foam adhesive back behind my thought bubbles and pop them in place right here on my card. Making sure that foam adhesive doesn't go where the thought bubble goes over two sections of the comic. Here are my three extra koalas. I colored them off camera. I'm just gonna add in the face detail with my black pin really quick. And then we're gonna add these guys to our card. So I have the little guy holding an envelope. I thought he was perfect for this card. We're just gonna snip off part of this koala and have him coming down from the top, kind of peeking into the corner of this frame. And then we're also gonna do the same thing for this other koala holding a heart to finish off the card. 
Now I am gonna stamp a very quick and easy envelope. In fact, we're gonna do this for both cards today, just switching out our critter. We're gonna stamp the koala who is holding the envelope right here with some cotton white stays on ink on an Audrey Blue Simon Says Stamp envelope. And then we're going to stamp special delivery. Also in white ink, that is from the Comic Sayings stamp set, the same one we used for all the sentiments on our card. Then all you have to do is add the recipient's name right under that. It's very quick and easy, and it just adds a little something special for our little agenda card. Let's go ahead and do our kangaroos next. We've already done our background, remember? I have lots and lots of kangaroos. For this card, again, it's going to be a lot of repetition of coloring, so I won't, again, be sharing all of that since it's a lot of the same brown color, saddle brown, tan, uh, chocolate for the noses and baby pink uh, for cheeks and things like that. There is going to be a little signage that is with the aqua colors, which is, I think, sap green and Alice blue. Maybe it's green. I might be wrong about that. I think it's actually green. And Alice Blue. And then there's the hearts, which are reds and little things like that. There are not quite as many different colors included in this. I think there's a kangaroo holding a little branch, a heart, an envelope, and a flower. And then the sign kangaroo image does not come from the little kangaroo agenda. That actually comes from another stamp set called Little Signage, which is a lot of little agenda critters, um, a lot of different ones. And you can build sentiments with the alphabet in that stamp set on the signs they're holding. But I thought it was cute to incorporate him into this card to show you how you can mix and match some of the other little agenda sets that you might already own with these brand new images. So that's that image I, um, my hand is kind of covering right now. We'll color a few more of these. I did a lot of my outlining with the saddle brown and then I'm blending out with tan. I didn't color all of the bunny, bunny, uh, kangaroo, sorry, that's hanging upside down there because he is going to be like the koala that's peeking in from the corner of one of the sections on our wonky frame. And because I'm going to be cutting that portion off, I just didn't even bother coloring that. We are using, let's see, seven, eight, 10 kangaroo images. And how many koalas did I use? One, two, three. 11. So lots and lots of images for this. The coloring, however, it, it seems intimidating, but it goes really quickly. I think, especially if you do it kind of assembly line style, like I'm doing here. I generally did a few and then I would uh, go back and add the face detail and then I would color a few more, go back and add the face detail. Here's that carmine and carnation color combination for the heart. And the little sign with green and Alice blue. I think this color combination is really nice to go with the salvaged patina distress ink. Over the little sign then from Comic Sayings, there's a little hi greeting. There's actually several. I think there's um, hi, hey, feel like there's one more at least that will fit that little sign. Or you could always stamp multiple images to build greetings. I'll link to another video at the end of this one where I've used some other little agenda critters and I've actually used the uh, little signage stamp set. We're gonna die cut all of these little guys and then we're gonna go back to our other frame. This one's gonna be the shaded lilac and salvaged patina. Again, we have inlaid all of those pieces into a white frame to start with. We have three frames total. We're going to glue all of our 
little guys in place. I already have my thought bubbles stamped with let's chat sentiments, or pardon me, comic sayings sentiments and die cut with the let's chat thought bubbles. I combined just wanted to say, and then I made this card just for you into one for a larger circular thought bubble. And then we're also using hello friend, enjoy the little things and hi. The high obviously is stamped on the kangaroo's little sign there. We're going to use the same little tip as before, putting our adhesive strips, pulling them halfway back, and then pulling them out when we have it in place. We'll do that one more time to replace the inked frame on top. And then on top of that, we are going to go in and add all of our thought bubbles. And I'm finishing each card with a scattering of mini silver star confetti. I did not do this part on camera, but I added little dabs of glue and then just simply placed the little stars all over. I thought it was a great little easy finishing touch to finish our card. Here are those cute little thought bubbles, making sure not to put any foam adhesive where the thought bubble might go on top of the frame. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two new little agenda cards featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring little agenda images that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.